Hey everyone, so some of you guys have been asking which phone to buy, the Xperia Z3 Compact or the Z3 Plus. Uh, so I'm going to start off by first reviewing the outsides of the phones. So just looking at the front, you see they look very similar. Both have the Sony logo there at the top. I'm going to now compare the sides. So the Z3 Plus is a little bit thinner. Uh, it also has more of a premium build to the side. The Z3 Compact is just a little bit more plasticky. It's not a big difference, but it's definitely noticeable. You see you have the headphone jack there at the top on each of them. Now the Z3 Compact does have this uh, magnetic charge charging port, which the Z3 Plus does not have. But in my opinion, the Z3 Plus does have a very good new feature where you see at the bottom here, uh, the charging port, the micro USB port isn't covered. So it's still waterproof, but you don't have to have the flap over it like you do with the Z3 Compact. So um, just a nice feature there, just definitely more convenient. And so just in terms of weight, they're actually, despite the size difference, they're pretty similar in weight. Uh, the Z3 plus is 144 grams, whereas the Z3 Compact is 129 grams. Um, the Z3 Plus also has better speakers on here. And um, in terms of the camera, the front-facing camera is 5.1 on here, 2.2 on the Z3 Compact. Um, now the back face, the rear-facing camera, they're both 20.7 megapixels, but uh, the Z3 Plus is definitely better it's not a huge difference but it, it is noticeable um i have some videos on my channel if you want to check those out it actually the videos are actually titled uh z3 plus versus z3 camera but because the z3 and the z3 compact camera are 100 percent identical uh it's going to give you the same results so now the big difference here is the screen size. Uh, the Z3 Plus is 5.2 inches, 4.6 for the compact. Uh, the Z3 Plus also has a higher resolution. It's uh, 424 pixels per inch compared to 319 pixels per inch. So it's 1080p, 720p. And also I'll say that the Z3 Plus screen is, uh, it's definitely warmer. It's just in my opinion, it has warmer colors. It just overall looks better. So um, I also have another comparison video of that you guys can check out. So in terms of the internals, uh, the Z3 Plus has an octa-core Snapdragon 810 processor with 3 gigabytes of RAM. The Z3 Compact has a quad-core Snapdragon 801 processor with 2 gigabytes of RAM. The Z3 Plus also has an Andreano 430 compared to an Andreano 330 on here. Um, and then 32 gigabytes of internal storage on a Z3 Plus, 16 gigabytes internal storage on a Z3 Compact. But of course, you can also expand that with the micro uh, SD cards. And finally, uh, the battery life. This is uh, has a 2930 capacity, and this is 2600. Of course, uh, the Z3 Plus requires more of a uh, requires a bigger battery, so. I'd say that the Z3 Plus, just from day-to-day -day usage, I'd say the Z3 Plus battery is better, especially like in standby mode when you're not using it. But um, I don't think it's a huge difference. All right, so now the question you guys are all wondering, which of these phones is better? Well, the Z3 Plus is a better phone. And especially if you want, um, if you prefer a bigger phone like me, the Z3 Plus is absolutely a better phone. But the thing is, is there's a big difference of the prices with this. So it's going to vary by region, but um, at least for me. So with the Z3 Plus, I'm able to find it right now in the low $600 range around. And with the Z3 Compact, it's around the high $300 range. So it's a very big difference in pricing. Uh, of course, a large part of that has to do with the Z3 Plus being a newer phone. But you guys have to uh, determine if you think that that's worth it, if you think that the price difference is worth it. Um, personally, I do like bigger phones, so I would probably 
if I didn't have either of these phones, I would probably go with the Z3 Plus now. Or I might even go with the regular Z3. But, um, yeah, I would, for the average customer, I would have to recommend, at this point in time, the Z3 Compact. So, um, and another question a lot of you guys probably wondering is if the Z3 Plus overheats. Um, I haven't had an issue with that, and I even did a heat test video. I'll put a link to that up in the description. But, um... Yeah, so at least for me anyways, it hasn't been a problem. I haven't had any other problems with the Z3 Plus. Uh, it's a very good phone. It's just a little bit pricey now. It doesn't do uh, anything really revolutionary. So it's not the most exciting phone, but it is a great phone. And honestly, it might even be the best phone on the market right now. But again, it's still pricey. And there's some very good options even in the Xperia Z3 range. Uh, thanks for watching, everyone. I'm going to put a link up to all the video comparisons in the description. Uh, again, the Z3 Compact is identical with the regular Z3 in terms of display and camera. So if you see one that's titled Z3, it might as well be called be titled Z3 Compact. So thanks for watching. If there's any other type of videos you guys want to see, please let me know in the comments.